Hey guys, it's Anna from the vlog Pine and Prospect Home and what is so funny about today's video is that I'm actually doing a spring decorate with me and this morning we got hit with another snowstorm so it has been snowing all day long since like 3 this morning. Um, so it's funny talking about springtime and then looking out my kitchen window at like these heavy flurries coming down but that's okay. Um, even though it doesn't look like spring outside and I generally let the outside sort of dictate what's happening on the inside, in the spring it's a little bit different. In the springtime I'm like, I don't care if it's snowing, I'm ready for spring, the flowers are going to come out. So um, it's funny how, how I kind of um, break the rules there, I guess, here in March in Michigan. But no matter where you live, um, whether you have snow like I do or maybe it is gorgeous where you are, we are going to start talking about um, spring decor in the kitchen today. And I did a little bit of a decorate with me in the dining room last week if you want to check out that video. But today I want to focus on my kitchen and I was inspired today by some beautiful flowers that my sister picked up for me from um, our grocery store right here in town. I was just kind of saying in an earlier video how I don't usually have a great selection at my local grocery store and she ran in there to pick up some avocado for me. <laughs> so sweet for a recipe because she was there anyways. She asked me if I needed anything, told her what I needed and she grabbed these beautiful flowers and they just, they were exactly what I needed to inspire me to decorate for spring in here. So if you are lacking inspiration or you just feel like, oh, I can't get over these cold winter months, nothing is inspiring me, I just wanna stay under this cozy blanket forever and ever, um, <laughs> go grab yourself some flowers because that is exactly what I needed to, to give me that like springtime feeling. So um, really, my kitchen is small. You guys have seen it before. We did a little makeover last summer when we got our new range that I get asked about all the time. Um, this uh, beautiful range is by Elve, and I talked all about it in another video that I shared last year. When we installed this last summer, it just led to this domino effect of changes. Of course, we took out the microwave and put this beautiful rustic beam above the stove, which I love. We also added authentic 150-year-old barn beams to our ceiling. Um, we took the backsplash all the way down to the countertop, so we de definitely made some big changes last summer. Um, but for spring, I honestly keep it pretty simple in here. I don't go crazy. It's a small galley kitchen. Um, I think I think it's tempting sometimes to want to add all these things to your kitchen, but I've gotten to the point in my life with four little boys where it's like, if I'm not using this item, then I do not want it on my countertop. I want pieces in my kitchen that are going to be functional, that serve a purpose, okay? So for example, I've got some canisters over here with oats, um, gluten-free flour, some French gray salt. I use those things all the time. My little French press that my sister got me for Christmas, we use that almost every single night after dinner. So I will keep out items that I use on a regular basis, but I've really cut back in terms of decor in my kitchen because I just don't want to clean around it around it and I don't want to wipe around it. Now lately, um, I think just after Christmas, we decided to switch over our pots and pans to cast iron and I have been loving it. I was so scared that I wouldn't know how to cook with cast iron and it was a learning curve for sure but I feel like we've got the handle on it now but because they're so heavy they kind of just sit on the stovetop. My Dutch oven stays on the stovetop as well. I'm still cooking lots of soups this time of year and it's real heavy so I just leave it right there on the stovetop. My copper kettle that I got in Kentucky, I shared it. Or no, maybe it was in Ohio. It was in Ohio at that antique store. Um, I keep that out on my stovetop as well because we use it all the time whenever we boil water for the French press or to make tea. Another thing that is always sitting out on my counter are um, three jars. I've got my sourdough starter, which I um, make using Kamut. Um, and then I also have my kefir, sitting out we drink kefir smoothies every single morning in the summertime i'll probably move them to over to the pantry the little pantry area near the window but in the winter time that part of the kitchen is more chilly 
um, it's kind of cold over there so I tend to keep these things over by the stove area where it's a little warmer so now before I like to decorate at all for spring I really like to sort of clean and declutter the entire space I was so close you guys I'm really angry at myself I was so close to taking you along I went through every single kitchen cupboard in my kitchen and got rid of so much stuff we took a huge carload to the thrift store I just really the older I get the more that I want to downsize and get rid of things and just use the bare minimum like we don't need all of these extra coffee mugs we don't need all of these extra you know Tupperware containers and so I really downsized and the whole kitchen looked like a bomb went off and several times I thought I should record this for YouTube but I was like no I'm just gonna put my head down and keep working so I decluttered the entire kitchen. I also did, um, I did take you guys along with me uh, in a video where I deep cleaned the whole kitchen. So if you'd like to see that video, I will link it for you. Um, but that's always a good way to start off uh, whenever you're transitioning into spring. Um, it's always a good idea to just give your kitchen a good decluttering, a good deep cleaning, and I think it just makes you feel like, okay, this is a fresh start. Um, what can I do to add little touches here and there that'll make it feel like springtime in here? So my first suggestion for you when you're decorating your kitchen is to kind of look up, maybe take your eyes off the counter. Our first inclination is to like fill the countertops with spring decor, but I would say pull your eyes upward. Where can I put decor that maybe won't clutter up my space? And the very first um, area that I can think of is above my fridge. And so, um, I love to keep a really big, beautiful vintage basket above my fridge. I got it at a thrift store. I think I only paid like $5 for it. It's weathered beautifully. And I love filling mine with faux flowers in the spring. These beautiful stems. I think they're from Hobby Lobby. I'm almost positive um, so that you can go grab some, but they look so realistic. I love the pop of green they bring. They just put a smile on my face. They feel like spring. And so that is always the first thing that I do in my kitchen every year. I've done it for probably, uh, probably three or four years in a row now. I just, I love the look of stems against the stone, the beautiful flowers with the stone um, accent wall that we have happening. I just think that that combination is so, so pretty. And so that's the very first thing that I do in the springtime. Um, so another area, when I say look up, look around in your kitchen, do you have any empty wall space where you could maybe add a sign, um, maybe a sign that says fresh flowers or seeds for sale, something that makes you think about springtime. In my kitchen, we have this simple DIY chalkboard that we created using the old screen door from our front door. We have an arched front door on our home, if you didn't know that, if you're new here. And so um, when we moved in, this old storm door was there. And I didn't want to get rid of this cool architectural piece of woodwork. I just thought it was really neat. And so we put it on our wall, painted the wall with chalkboard paint. And um, usually it says different things throughout the year. At this point in time, we have a little countdown to when we go to North Carolina. We go every spring. My dad's been going since he was a baby. It's where our family kind of um, came from, my ancestors actually. Um, two of my ancestors fought in the Revolutionary War on Kings Mountain in North Carolina. Our names are found there on a monument and they both came over from England, and so there's some cool family history there. And then it was my great-grandfather who kind of brought the family, our branch of the family, that is, up to Michigan when all of the jobs became available, you know, near Detroit with the auto industry and everything like that. So not that you guys care about um, my family history, but we go to North Carolina every year to a place called Oak Island, and my kids are so excited. My eight-year-old made a countdown, but draw your eye up. Where can you add decor in your kitchen that maybe won't clutter up the counter space? So um, the next tip that I have for you is if, if you are gonna put something on the counters, I would highly suggest some beautiful um, florals or stems. Um, it looks natural, it looks simple, and um, I just think that one beautiful white pitcher with some flowers in it 
just that alone makes such a huge statement and it's simple and beautiful and you really don't need a whole lot else. And so obviously if you have to use faux flowers, um, go right ahead. I do that all the time. I have a video all about how to make faux stems look real that I shared a couple of weeks ago. So check that out if you're interested. But um, if you're gonna put anything on your countertop, I would definitely go for some beautiful faux flowers. I think that that, um, that just adds the perfect spring touch to any kitchen. Another thing I would recommend doing is look for areas where you can hang beautiful um, linens and towels, aprons, washcloths, napkins, things like that in your kitchen. Um, and think about different colors and, and um, patterns that maybe make you think of springtime. For me, I love stripes. I think that stripes are so beautiful, especially in the spring and summer. They really work all year long. Um, but just switching out your towels and linens in your kitchen is something that you can do to prepare for springtime. You could also consider um, maybe a bowl of fruit, um, something that makes you think about warmer months ahead. I actually had purchased a big bag of beautiful pears that I was gonna put out for this video, and the moment I walked in the door with them, my boys found them and they all wanted to eat a pear, so they ate the pears, and that's totally fine. But I have a couple left here. I just think that fruit is so beautiful. I think it helps uh, children to eat more fruit when that's you know, out and available to them. So that's another idea um, that I thought of for spring decorating. Um, I hope this video was inspiring to you guys today. I hope it gave you some ideas for your kitchen for springtime. Um, I always love sharing uh, spaces in my home with you and I hope that it was an inspiration today. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.